Hey, what's happening? It's Beat Rider. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that like and subscribe button. All that good stuff. So, I did too. I pulled the trigger. I got a new Rogue Line. Really tough decision. I had a lot of stuff on my bike I liked. A lot of things I liked about my bike. It was very comfortable to me. But I do ride the crap out of my motorcycle. I got 50,000 miles on my 21. That's three years. It means I was doing over 15,000 miles a year. Heck, last year I did over 20,000 miles. So, you think about it, like my wife said, I ride. It's something I do. So, for me not to get another one, yeah, well, it is what it is. Like, everybody thinks it's like, I got one buddy, he got 260-some thousand miles on his motorcycle. Awesome. He's had a couple motors put in it and so forth. I'm just about getting, I don't want my bike to be tied up in a shop. I like to get it out and go ride. So that being said, I pulled the trigger. I bought another Rogue Glide. But on the hand of doing that, I had a video back when I did my 2018 to 21 where I stripped all the parts off and parts I took off and how much money it saved me. So not as many parts change over on this bike. And there's a couple reasons why. Um, one, there's a different connector underneath the seat. For the rear tail lights because they change the tail lights there's also a different connector when you do the stage speakers those connector wires there's no harness when you do the speakers so that wiring is with a harness is for the speakers too so all they do is change out the plugs and plug some wires in there before they put your saddlebag uh, speakers in so that's a different connector so the connector for all my accessory lights that i had on that bike which i put a lot of money into some lights is not there anymore so that means I don't really can't use the lights that I have. Now, if you have a 2024 Limited, this will still all work on it. If I bought a 24 Limited, I could have put all those parts on it. But no, not me. I got to have the new shit. So guess what? It don't freaking fit. I bought a black kickstand because I have a black bike. This one comes with a black kickstand. Well, there went that idea. So now I got a kickstand for sale. My bag lights, the trunk lights. The other lights that go under the lower, under your mark lights on the lower side of the bag, I got the turn signal brake light combination lights from Custom Dynamics. I got a new stereo. Well, the speakers don't work. I got premium speakers. I got the little turn signals on the side of the um, ducts that come through the front fairing. I got them little turn signals. One of my buddies was over. He bought my Mustang seat that I've had for quite a long time. With the seat cover, backrest, and all that, I've had that seat for 13 years. <coughs> I bought it in Sturgis. But... I had we had upholstered it, I put a seat cover on it and everything else. It works wonderful. But guess what? It doesn't fit this bike. They did change the frame a little bit. Just a little bit. Just enough to make it so that it doesn't work. So I had to order another seat because I got the long haul package, which that's another thing I gotta talk about at some point. So a couple things did transfer over, and we'll go over those real quick. One is my Reinhardt's. They will fit. It's a 117, 114. It doesn't make a difference. It still fits because the pipes are still the same size. So your slip-ons, hey, what the heck, they work. Great. Um, there is a heated plug-in for your heated gear underneath the seat. There's two of them, actually. And you can plug in there versus running out of your, your trickle charger. That's how I was doing it with a splitter and doing it. Now, I just plug my, this is magnetized. And I got a soft thing so it doesn't scratch my paint. But it keeps it right there so I can adjust my temperature when I ride. If it gets too hot, too cold, or I'm not hot or cold, whatever, I can adjust all that. And it just fits right there nicely. Um, what did I have to do? Oh, okay. We'll get to that. So, it didn't come with a heel shifter. Which, in the long haul package, it comes in a long haul package. But I already had one. So, I took it off the old bike. I just switched it. I didn't get it in a long haul package. The back, the foot pegs. I had those for the back of the other one. And those front ones. I have the big wider ones. I didn't want the wider ones, so I put the ones because they match. All this matches, so hey, you know, we got a match. Then I put the shift rod in there because that works to this bike. Same thing as on the 114. I mean, there's no difference in any of that stuff. Also, I put my mirrors on. Now, I've had these mirrors since 2018. I used some S100 on that, and man, that cleaned that up so nice. Look how clean. Those look brand new. That's some awesome stuff. Never used it. They were getting kind of dull. But I sprayed my S100 on it, cleaned them right up. Same with my Ciro 3D um, wireless charger. Now I had to take the tank off. I ran the wire down the bars, down underneath, all the way down to uh, the splitter. I put a splitter on the um, 
trickle charger so I can charge this and keep this thing. So this is powered all the time. So I put my phone in there, keeps my phone charged. My big cup holder, can't live without this thing. Keeps me hydrated going down the road. Holds my big 32, 36 ounce cup. And then my auxiliary mount for my GoPro if I want to put my GoPro there. And what else did they get to change? They need a kickstand. They're no lowers. Uh, nothing else I could really change. I did order a windshield. It's coming. Uh, a Sun Daughter seat is going to need that. I didn't need the hill shifter and the tour pack. Remember, the bracket and everything is part of the package, but the tour pack itself is not. And then it has no wiring to it, so the wiring is different. So, hence, miles to get rid of the other stuff that don't fit. The only thing left to do is I have, I hate this little fender. I don't like them little fenders. I think the fender should be full. Of course, I have my Kerry Aachen, or sorry, Clockworks fender over here. I got to order the paint, and I can get that painted the same color. I order the paint from work, and then uh, when it comes in, I'll have somebody I know find somebody to paint it. And it's a two-stage paint. You have a base, which is one price, and then you have the pearl, which is another price. So it's not that cheap to get painted. It's going to probably cost me three to four hundred dollars to have that fender painted. Then of course I have the, the wind splitter windshield, and uh, haven't got that yet. Also, I had the series. Um, adapter for my um, I had a series adapter for my boom system so I could uh, get the weather when I was out in the middle of nowhere and then I also had the whim which you don't need the motorcycles no more you don't need a whim so if you have a 2024 you still need a whim and if you have the series and you like series radio or with the satellite and traffic and all that you can get that also um, those things weren't cheap. That that series thing was three hundred dollars. Over three, I think it was three hundred ninety nine. I think it was pretty expensive. And then the um, the whim used to be like three fifty. But I mean, if, if you wanted to go through your through your through your system on your bike, you kind of need that. It would not work without it. So, uh, but everybody pretty much you know runs Android and Google and all that stuff nowadays. So it's not necessarily a needed thing. But hey, that's that's saved me some bucks. Uh, like I said, I sold a few things already. I got a few things more to sell. Somebody will buy them. It, it always does. And uh, they always go pretty quick. I already sold like the seat, the little veins I had on the side, which did, like air di divider, div diverters. Uh, what was the other thing? Oh, the little turn signals for on the windshield, right at the base of the windshield, and a headlight. That headlight, I just talked to uh, Roguelite Andy because that's where he got his parts at. If you watch his Friends with Benefits. Uh, video of friend benefits or benefit of friends or whatever. That's where he got the parts was for me uh, You get the headlight. He said it was really it really works really well. So all right I like to make my videos very long. I keep them probably as pretty short as I can So uh, hey, thanks for watching hit that like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you down the road Don't forget about Pam 2024 um, I know some people are going on. I got a Facebook page if you haven't clicked on to that get on there Let me know you're coming put some pictures up say who you are You know, it's about the vloggers and meeting everybody said once they get together and talk about you know vlogging and get together and have some good time we're gonna do some short rides in the area we're gonna see some of this local stuff that's in the area here we got some really natural history things around here to see and everything and uh, meet a few vloggers and meet some of the other vloggers you might not have met yet alrighty hey we'll see you down the road take a light